Now, once we have our valve out, okay, this valve guide is very important that it's in good condition, so we need to inspect that as well. And when we inspect it, we can do a visual inspection, okay, and then before we get too carried away, we'll use the valve guide brush or a carbon scraper to clean that up. And then we'll measure the amount of wear and compare it to the OEM specification. Now, when you me measure wear in a bore like this, it's very difficult to to get a good measurement. So you need to use specialty tooling. And in this case here, we're going to use a small hole gauge. Now this here gauge has an adjustable thimble on the end here. And you can see how it's split. As I tighten the thimble, this stretches out. And out, and out, and out. Okay. Now the idea is we need to measure this bore, usually in three places, the top, the middle, and the bottom. Check for, for taper. And then we'll check for the maximum diameter. And we'll also check for out around. And you notice with this here, as it spreads apart, it's not spreading the other way either. So you'll have to check it this way and this way to get that out around. Now, when you use this tool, we'll just measure the top one, expand it till you get a slight drag. And I know you can't feel it, you can just see it, but I have a bit of a slight drag. Pop it out the top. Here it is. Set them down. And now it's not like a micrometer where you have to lock it in position, right? If you turn that thimble anymore, it's going to change your measurement. Now, once you have it here, you can take your favorite tool, the outside micrometer, and take an indirect reading, okay? Then, let this guy compress again, back in the hole, take it 90 degrees out, get that slight drag, take a measurement there, do it in three spots. That's gonna give us an idea of the condition in here. If that's too loose, that valve's gonna wear, it's gonna wear faster, and you're gonna have oil consumption.